Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what the Zelda series means to me. Specifically when I was growing up, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Those are kind of the three games I played a lot of. Zelda to me was something that I could invest myself in and have an adventure and... I could get good at playing Zelda games. It wasn't just, oh, you know, you know where all the secrets are. It's you are good at this game series, right? You're good at solving the Zelda puzzles, the Zelda lore, the Zelda levels, and the sword play. And it was one of the first video games I remember really playing and sitting down and saying, wow, this is a cool game. Ocarina of Time, right? Running around in a 3D environment. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I didn't really care the difference between 3D and 2D. But running around, you know, cutting bushes, earning rupees, unlocking things, and at the time when I was a little kid, it was a way for me to use my brain in a way that I felt was useful. When I was a little kid, I hated. Well, actually, not as a little kid. I hate school. Period. School work. School. K through 12. Mm, not a fan of it. Gymnastics was the first sport I was in. Love gymnastics. Way more better investment of time. Video games, I felt was way more better investment in my time. Now, of course, I was not a little kid. I'm saying a six-year-old's mother, I'm investing my time in nothing. Let me go play my Zelda games. No, I was like, hey, I want to play Zelda. But Zelda it was a single-player game. And it taught me a lot of things about open world video games. And it taught me to just be observant. It taught me to go to places and talk to people and learn stuff. And I think that, I think Zelda is responsible for me liking to learn new things. I love learning new things. Like, I'll sit there and I'll be like, like, and I like that I have Googled to this too. I'll be like, um, like the other day, what is the effect of weed on you before you go to bed? Specifically, that specific question came into my head. I'm like, I want to know. Google it. In the middle of the night, it's like, I think I went to bed at 1130. It was like one o'clock. I'm like, God, I want to know when the Bitcoin explosion was in 2017. And I looked it up. And I feel like in Zelda, the game rewarded you for exploration, right? You got heart pieces. Heart pieces freaking left and right. Right? In Ocarina of Time and in Wind Waker. In Wind Waker, it was, oh, here's an island. Solve the puzzle on it. If you solve the puzzle, you figure out what item you need, go get the item, solve the puzzle, boom. Heart piece. But it just served as a is an escape, but it was a cohesive escape. It was like a storybook. You go back to where you left off. Or maybe you explore a different part. It was like a storybook, but you didn't need to read the chapters in the same order. There was the core chapters that you had to read, but even then you could do side stuff and like it was like a open world a linear open world. Like the you guys know, the way that Zelda works. It was perfect for my little brain. And it, it made me appreciate open world games and stories and games and I think just games in general what kind of stories they could tell Halo is another one I made a video about being three playing Halo Halo is the same way it tells the story of the Master Chief but you're killing aliens and there's Zelda put the two together I don't know you get oblivion or something I don't know but Zelda is just one of those games where it's like yeah you just sit and play and enjoy yourself and learn about the world you just learn about it and it's cool i love it so much and i could play the older zelda games and then figuring out the timeline and stuff which was insane and figuring out just different things it was the perfect mix for me as a kid of brain games and action games and i think that's how i am today half my time is spent um working on my body and physically doing stuff well, not half my time. <laughs> and the other piece of my time is brain, right? And heck, working on 
speaking, making YouTube videos, every YouTube video I make, I learn something. And I think that's what Zelda was the perfect game for me for then. So Zelda, it's a game that I will always remember as being one of my favorite games. To just sit, da sit down and play and it was just, when you got frustrated at all of the games, Zelda was there. So that's what Zelda means to me. I'd love to know your thoughts of Zelda in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make. Hello, everyone. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what Gauntlet Dark Legacy means to me as a gamer. Dark Legacy is... One of the worst RPG games in the world. It really is. All you do is you run around, you earn gold, and you build up your character. It's kind of strangely built. But in terms of gameplay on paper, not very good. But the adventures you have in that game are insane. You go through the eight worlds, you know, you solve the quests, you beat the boss, boom, game over. But Gauntlet for me, it was the first game that I played a lot of, along with Halo. It was Gauntlet was one of the first games I played a lot of with my next door neighbor, Harrison. And it kind of helped form a friendship with Harrison. I'd, I mean, I'm friends with Harrison on Facebook, but we don't talk at all. He doesn't even, I mean, he probably still thinks I'm doing gymnastics. And that, I quit gymnastics nine, ten years ago. Yeah, no, maybe 11 years ago. Maybe even 12, I don't know. Some t freaking years ago. I don't know. I don't even live next to him anymore. I don't even know where he lives. So it helped me with that, and it helped with my older brother John and my older brother Cody. We played that game together. And it helped because it was a game kind of like, you know how Zelda you could learn the secrets? Gauntlet was less linear than Zelda. And it had a lot of secrets in it that you just needed to know to figure out. And Gauntlet was just my game. I loved the challenge it provided. And it it had this weird sense of wonder. Because you went through all of these realms. And you're like, look at all these bad guys. Like, what am I doing here? And you fighting all these different bosses that have these... Even though the bosses in that game were very similar they all had their own personality it was like the personality of the level and you just kind of go through and you've fought and made a badass character and then got badass items and beat the game then you could use the badass items from the end of the game and beat it again make a level 99 character and it just i remember a lot of good memories playing with my sister that was a game that i played with my sister and my cousins and we all had a good time. Halo, usually someone was getting butt hurt that they kept getting killed. But Gauntlet, teamwork game. And it was loose teamwork. And it just positive memories all around of playing it with different people, enjoying it. And still today, my sister and I could probably turn on Gauntlet and have a fun time. And so to me, Gauntlet helped me with co-op. It helped me make, you know, strengthen my friendships. And it's it's a special game to me, you know. My brother, um, Cody, that was one of the few games I remember playing with him before he moved out. Of course, Rock Band for me was the game I played a lot with Cody. And um, we just, it's always been a game that I can enjoy. It's like RuneScape. 20 it's like it's like how runescape is to most people now that's gauntlet for me if that makes any sense so with that that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below subscribe if you're new for more videos i'm pacific casual gamer i will see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever i decide to make